Today, I'm going to tell you about what might be the biggest scientific breakthrough of the past 50 years. Yet, it's a development that has received almost no attention from popular science channels. This could revolutionize both the world of science and the history of humanity, called Fusion and China's Artificial Sun, which took a massive leap forward in January 2025. China's experimental fusion reactor, also known as the Artificial Sun, recently broke an incredible record. The East Fusion Reactor maintained plasma at high stability for a remarkable 1,066 seconds. What does this mean? For nearly 18 minutes, an environment with unimaginably high temperatures, akin to the core of the sun, was sustained. This achievement marks a major milestone in making nuclear fusion energy a reality. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is this such a big deal? The answer is simple. Fusion energy could become the cleanest and most powerful energy source in human history. Let's put that into perspective. Just one gram of deuterium used in fusion reactors produces as much energy as eight tons of oil. Incredible, isn't it? And here's the even more exciting part. Deuterium is abundantly available in our oceans. Scientists estimate that Earth's oceans hold approximately four trillion tons of deuterium. That's enough to completely eliminate the concept of an energy crisis. Imagine a world with unlimited, clean energy. What happens when the dependence on fossil fuels ends? Think about the oil-rich countries in the Arabian Peninsula. How would economies change? Who would lose power on the global stage? And who would rise? This isn't just about energy. It's a revolution that could reshape the entire world order. Of course, not everything is sunshine and rainbows. There are still many technical challenges to overcome before fusion energy can be fully utilized. However, countries like China are making massive strides in this race. The artificial sun is proof of just how seriously this is being taken and how quickly progress is being made. During nuclear fusion, two hydrogen nuclei merge to form a helium nucleus and a small amount of mass is converted into energy. The amount of energy released is directly related to the mass lost, and this is where the potential for virtually limitless energy lies. Let's go back to the year 1938. Hans Bethe, a brilliant physicist, was trying to figure out how stars could shine so brightly. And then, bingo, he discovered that light atomic nuclei fused together, releasing energy. That's the secret behind star energy, fusion. But this was just the beginning. By the 1940s, the scientific community confirmed. Stars generate their energy through fusion. This groundbreaking discovery earned Beta the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1967. However, the immense power of fusion was initially used for darker purposes. The hydrogen bomb, also known as the thermonuclear bomb, was a product of this era, and its destructive force was nothing short of devastating. By 1950, things started to change. The Soviet Union developed a device called the tokamak, designed to confine plasma using magnetic fields. The goal was to bring the energy of stars down to Earth. Naturally, the Americans and Europeans joined the race as well. Today, experimental fusion reactors can be found in places like France, the United States, and South Korea. One of the most ambitious projects in fusion energy is China's East, or Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak. The name itself is significant, as East also means East in English, carrying a strong and deliberate message both in name and symbolism. This device was built by the Institute of Plasma Physics at the Chinese Academy of Sciences and holds a distinction of being the world's first tokamak equipped entirely with superconducting magnets. But it doesn't stop there. East is also part of China's ninth five-year plan, one of their major engineering projects. It reflects the disciplined, methodical approach of a planned economy. Earlier, we mentioned China's Z3 quantum computer, a competitor to Google's Willow. The Z3 prioritizes deeper computational capabilities over longer superposition durations. Why? Exactly for projects like this. Fusion plasma modeling and magnetic field simulations require incredibly complex calculations. A quantum computer like the Z3, with its advanced computational depth, is perfectly designed to meet these demands. In short, a planned economy, when guided by competent and visionary leaders, 
can lay the groundwork for monumental scientific breakthroughs. China's projects clearly demonstrate just how serious they are about the fusion energy race. So, what exactly is a tokamak? Think of it this way. Fusion reactions require incredibly high temperatures to occur. The tokamak is a device designed to control the plasma, essentially ionized gas, formed at these extreme temperatures. How does it do this? With magnetic fields. The tokamak compresses the plasma into a ring shape and prevents it from touching the walls, allowing the fusion reactions to continue stably. EAST is a massive device designed as a reactor, combining cutting-edge technologies such as ultra-high temperatures, ultra-low temperatures, ultra-high vacuum, extremely strong magnetic fields, and extremely high electric currents. This intricate system, comprising nearly one million components working in harmony, is protected by around 2,000 patents. To understand the basics of fusion energy, think of it like this. Hydrogen atoms are fused together to form helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. However, replicating this process on Earth requires recreating the sun's extraordinary temperature and pressure conditions. We're talking about temperatures exceeding 100 million degrees Celsius. At this point, matter transitions into a state called plasma, a state that isn't solid, liquid, or gas, but rather a completely ionized gas. So, how do we control this plasma? Here's where it gets interesting. You can't contain a material at such extreme temperatures in a physical container. At those temperatures, everything would vaporize. Instead, we use magnetic fields to control the plasma. Devices called tokamaks were specifically developed for this purpose. A tokamak creates a toroidal magnetic field that confines the plasma and prevents it from touching the walls. In other words, it's like keeping plasma in an invisible cage. Now, let's talk about China's major achievement in this field. China's East Tokamak reactor recently set an astonishing record. Maintaining plasma at a temperature of 100 million degrees Celsius for an incredible 1,066 seconds. This is a global breakthrough. Their previous record was 403 seconds, meaning they've nearly tripled the duration. What about other countries? Projects like ITER or experiments in the U.S. typically achieve only a few seconds of stable plasma confinement. But with the EAST project, China has firmly taken the lead. Over the past decade, more than 150,000 experiments have been conducted within China's EAST project. They finally managed to achieve stable plasma at 100 million degrees for over 1,000 seconds. This isn't just a record. It marks the beginning of a new era in fusion energy research. With this achievement, China has reached a scientific milestone and captured the world's attention once again. Let's address a common concern, no. Fusion reactors are not like nuclear fission power plants. They do not involve chain reactions. If something goes wrong, the fusion reaction stops immediately. Plus, the fuel used, deuterium and tritium, is required in extremely small quantities, and the radioactive waste it produces is minimal. In short, fusion reactors are both safe and environmentally friendly energy sources. Plasma is an incredibly difficult state of matter to control. It constantly tries to destabilize, crashing into the walls around it, which disrupts the fusion reaction. This is where China's achievement shines. Stabilizing plasma and confining it for such a long duration is a remarkable engineering feat. East overcame this challenge using superconducting magnetic coils. In conclusion, China's success represents a significant step toward humanity's goal of clean and sustainable energy. With fusion energy, we could eliminate fossil fuels and meet our energy needs while protecting the environment. However, this technology still needs time and further development before it becomes commercially viable. For now, we are only learning to manage plasma. We'll need to wait a bit longer for actual energy production. If you found this topic interesting, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to share them in the comments. See you in the next video. Goodbye.